Hello and welcome to Physics Video Waves Point 4B, Beat Frequencies and Doppler Effect Calculations. So this goes along with the video previous to this where we were explaining what is a beat frequency and what is the Doppler effect. Let's start with a beat frequency problem. A tuning fork produces a steady 440 hertz tone. When it is struck and held near a vibrating guitar string, 25 beats are counted in five seconds. What are the possible frequencies being produced by the guitar? So we have to keep in mind that the beat frequency is what we hear as a result of these two tones interacting. So in this particular case, it comes from 25 beats in five seconds. So the beat frequency is 25 over 5 or 5 hertz. So we actually want to know not the beat frequency, but what could the guitar be playing at that point in time, keeping in mind that beat frequency is the difference between your two tones. You either have the 440 hertz from the tuning fork adding 5, or you have the 440 hertz from the tuning fork subtracting 5. So it's either 445 hertz or it's 435 hertz that are being produced by the guitar. Simple, straightforward. The key to remembering this is you're looking for a difference, and that'll give you that wow, 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 wow sound that you hear so often. All right, let's move on to the Doppler effect. An ambulance drives by at 30 meters per second while you are sitting on your front porch. While the ambulance approaches, you hear the siren at 3200 hertz you know because you have perfect pitch of course the question is at what frequency does the or do the ambulance drivers hear the siren a little bit backwards from what we would typically think about well keep in mind that the Doppler effect equation that we're looking at is f prime is equal to f times 1 plus or minus V observer over V sound over 1 minus or plus V of the source over V sound. In this case, it is the frequency the ambulance drivers hear. So we are actually looking for F. What is the actual source of the siren? We know the F prime and we know the observer's information. You are sitting on your front porch. So V observer over V sound goes to zero, which simplifies this equation to be F times one over one minus 30 over 343. It's a minus because the source is moving towards you. So if we plug in our numbers here, we end up with 3200 is equal to uh, 1.0958 F. So the frequency of the source itself is 2920 Hertz. Second part of this question, what frequency do you hear as the ambulance drives away? So this time you are now looking for the F prime, noticing that you're going away. And in this case, again, you're still sitting still, so the numerator is still 1. The denominator now becomes a plus rather than a minus because it's moving away from you. So it's 1 over 1 plus 30 over 343 times your original frequency of 2920. Plug that in, and the frequency that you hear as the ambulance drives away is 2,685. So again, notice as it's coming towards you, the frequency is higher than the actual frequency. And as it's going away from you, the frequency is lower than its actual frequency. Let's do one more. While driving toward a cliff at 20 meters per second, you honk your horn, which has a frequency of 600 hertz, so that you hear the echo. At what pitch do you hear the echo? 
let's start by writing out our equation again there, right? So we know what it is we're looking and we have for information. We know the equation is f prime is equal to f times 1 plus or minus v observer over v sound over 1 minus or plus v source over v sound. In this particular case, this everything is moving when you think about it. We first have the observer is moving toward the cliff at a speed of 20 meters per second. So v observer is 20 meters per second. The source of the sound is also the car, so it too has a speed of 20 meters per second. And the velocity of sound, of course, still has the speed of 343. And your initial frequency, f, is the 600 hertz. So really, the only thing you need to figure out is are you using pluses and minuses or minuses and pluses? That gets back to the question, well, what's moving towards you or away from you? You are driving towards the cliff. So you, as the observer, are driving towards the echo, which is coming back at you. Similarly, the car is moving towards the cliff, so the source is moving towards the cliff as well. So we are going to want to use the top arithmetic functions here. So plugging in our numbers, we get 600 times 1 plus 20 over 343 over 1 minus 20 over 343. Plug and chug that into your calculator, and the apparent frequency of the echo is going to be 674 hertz. So as long as you can figure out whether the entire system is moving towards or away from each other, Using this combined equation is pretty simple. If you are not using the combined equation and you're looking at the apparent frequency for each individual situation, whether you're moving towards something or you're moving away from something, you then would have to do this twice. Once for you as the observer moving towards the cliff and once for the echo moving towards the observer. So rather than having to do it twice, use the combined equation as we talked about in the last video, and it's a plug and chug problem. This is really all there is to Doppler effect and beat problems, so you are good to go on the assignment. Bye for now.